Welcome everybody. It's Dave Perfetti with American Falconry. I'm here to narrate the elk fire which happened in Sheridan, Wyoming. It started on September 27th with just a small plume in the north end of the uh, Bighorns in area 38 for archery elk hunting. It was reported that a lightning strike started it. However, there's some some witnesses that say it was started by a couple of hunters. By October 4th, the entire face of the mountain from the Montana border down to Dayton, Wyoming, and Tongue River Canyon was in fire. I was out of town at the time. Uh, it spread down to Dayton, and I got word to get home and remove my things and evacuate. Forest Service had air assets all over. Helicopters, uh, some heavy tanker jets, uh, spread and retardant and water on... Uh, the fire trying to save uh, Horseshoe Estates, which is my sister neighborhood to the north. They lost two homes. On October 5th, we call it Hell Night. The winds came up. The next morning, I got permission to evacuate my personal aircraft off my airstrip and witnessed uh, the devastation uh, after that big wind that came up the night before. It was a five minute flight over to Sheridan, Wyoming. I got there before 8 a.m. and the air assets on were watched until 9, so I was cleared in. Safe. The devastation along the face was uh, tremendous. All the way down past uh, Goose Creek. They saved Eaton's Ranch, you can see it in the flight down the road going up to the face. Uh, no structures were lost at Eaton's Ranch, however, they worked all night long um, putting in fire lines to save uh, the structures at the historic Eaton's Ranch. Fire spread uh, almost to uh, Bighorn. The face of the mountain was pretty devastating. And finally, on October 18th, we got an inch of rain and several inches of snow in the mountains. And it pretty much stopped the spread of the fire. The smoke was horrendous from uh, most of October until about October 23rd when Highway 14. So I jumped in the uh, Corvette, took a ride up the mountain to Bear Lodge, and I uh, took a few photographs I'll share with you.
right. 